Okay, VTOL, four AIM-9Ls, and not much else. The Sea Harrier is a plane that doesn't seem like it's been talked about very much since it's been added, but I think that's because there's really not that much to talk about. It's battery rating 10.7, and it has four AIM-9Ls, and it has countermeasures, which, in theory, is a pretty solid plane, which, honestly, it is with the AIM-9Ls. But that's literally all it has going for it are the missiles and flares. Other than that, you have zero flight performance because it's a Harrier. You turn like a brick and you lose all your speed basically instantly. To be honest, I'm not quite sure why I decided to make this video on this plane. For some reason, I thought it would be fun, but it kind of wasn't. All the good games were basically like four or five kills, all missiles, and maybe a gun kill. And then the bad games were, okay, I died because I have zero flight performance whatsoever. Oh yeah, and A9L's got a little bit of a nerf, and it seems like it's pretty significant. It seems like the flare resistance is not nearly as good as it was pre-nerf, which has definitely cost me a few kills. It seems like everyone I shoot it at doesn't even cut their afterburner and just drop a couple flares, and the A9L eats it up. I'm not gonna say whether or not I think this is a good change or a bad change, I'll leave that up to y'all. Frankly, I don't really care about this change that much. I actually only played this plane this morning and I pretty much don't really have a desire to play it any further because this type of plane isn't exactly my favorite type of plane to play. Planes with really good weapons but nothing really else to offer. I very much prefer planes that have better flight performance with less weapons. I guess I could be chalked up to me wanting to be able to clutch out like a 1v4 or something if it comes to that, which is possible with planes that have good flight performance, but with something like this, it becomes much less possible. And nowadays at this BR, if you were playing a plane that did have insanely good flight performance. It's still not easy to clutch out games because you have to worry about every single person having really, really strong missiles. Now, that is just kind of the nature of this era of planes. Everything started moving away from guns and towards high-tech missiles. And that's kind of the reason I've been playing lower battle ratings lately. I've been really enjoying my props. All right, now I didn't play this plane much, but if you want to see me play it, here you go. All right, this is my very first game I played in this thing. Gonna warm up an A9L and send it off on this F-104, who seems to not really be paying attention to me. So that's just going to be a point and click kill, very nice. Next we got an A6E who seems to also not be paying attention to me. Shoot off a 9L and then get a kill. Who would have thought? Up next is another A6E who seems to also not be paying attention. Unfortunately I'm struggling to get a lock through the clouds, but I don't know why I expected to get a lock through the clouds because clouds seem to be quite a detriment to missiles. Getting close enough to actually just get a gunshot in, so that's what I ultimately decide to do because shooting a missile would be kind of pointless. And yay, I got a kill, I guess. Up next, an F5C, who seems to not be paying attention to me, but unfortunately, he was paying attention to me and flares my missile in the head-on. That was kind of a dumb launch. I didn't deserve the kill anyway. Fast forward a little bit, I've got an F5C right behind me. This is not good in this plane because he could just sit there if he really wanted to. Trying to reverse him, end up getting him to overshoot, try lining up the shot, and then I get team killed. Very nice. And this is a very large part of the reason why I don't really like playing high tier War Thunder anymore. When I'm playing Premiumville, aka rank 6 or 7, I feel like I get team killed more than I actually get killed by the opposing team. Alright, that's about all I have to say about the Sea Harrier because there really isn't that much to talk about. That's it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.